Everything we've built in our demo application to this point has used an in-memory H2 database. Uh, this is great for just kind of building out your object graph and testing some things out, but there are a few problems with this. Um, one, you know, it's an in-memory database, so if we wanted to deploy this to production, we would load up data every time, and then if we made changes to any of that data, it would not persist across, across restarts. So that's a big issue. Two, this H2 in-memory database is running on my local desktop here. And that's not going to work for production. So in this tutorial, I want to take a look at moving a production profile and or setting up a production profile and connecting to a more production-ready database. So in this case, we're still going to use H2. I'm not removing that from my project. Um, but in our case, I want to connect to a, another database. I thought about using MySQL, but there's tons of tutorials out there how to connect to MySQL. And especially here on a MacBook, you know, a lot of people do that. So what I wanted to do is kind of step outside the box here and kind of and cr create a connection to a Microsoft SQL Server that is running on Azure. So there's a couple things that we need to get going here. Once you kind of understand what you need to do, um, it's pretty great. So let's take a look at what we need to do. So first, we're going to have to have a dependency on the Microsoft SQL uh, JDBC driver. And to do that, this isn't just in Maven Central. Uh, you need to actually download this from um, Microsoft. So I will link to this. You gotta go here, download the driver, and then if you're running Maven like I am here, you need to have a way to install a third-party jar. So these instructions here are pretty easy to follow. So I popped open a terminal. You can see I ran that command, install the file, uh, give it a couple arguments, and it runs through, it says it did it okay, and everything was good to go. At that point, I was able to use this dependency in my jar with no errors. So when you first put it in, you, you obviously get an error, but if you, if you um, once Maven picks that up and sees that it is installed, then that should work fine for you. So that's step number one, and if you don't know how to do that, it can be a little frustrating, so I've given you the steps right here. It should be pretty easy to do. So now that we have that, uh, we need to connect to a database, right? In our case, um, I'm going to jump over back over to the browser. Like I said before, I'm using a SQL server that is hosted on Azure, and this is I just have a free trial account and just a... Um, like a 250 gigabyte database. Just again, I'm just using this for a demo. So when you go into your account, I have SQL databases here. And if you go into, oops. And if you go into, I created a Spring Boot intro SQL database. So if you go into that uh, particular database, you get a lot of information on it. One is the um, server that it's on. So I need to know where, <clears throat> what server it is so I can connect to it. And when I, when I set this database up, I gave it a username and password. So now I can use my SQL Pro um, client here to connect directly to that database here on my Mac, which is nice. So I'm connecting to that database, but then I also need some connection string info, right? I need to know like, what does that JDBC URL look like? Well, luckily they give you all of that information here. So you can just copy this into your uh, properties file. So, okay, so now I have a database set up. Now we need to configure it on the side of our application. So the first thing I did was in my application.properties, I'm gonna change this over to use a current profile of production. Because again, we're still using our H2 database on our local machine for development. We're just testing out our um, air coding here, production environment, right? So with that, um, we get an actual uh, application. We, we can create an application dash production properties file. And this properties file will now load up the information that we need for our database. So here is the information for the production profile. 
we have a URL and I stuck that URL in there minus the username and password um, which at this time you're probably gonna see the password blurred out there um, and then we have a data source driver class name and you want to use that one and then we need to configure hibernate's uh, DDL and this is basically saying all right when when we start up what do you want us to do with the schema do you want us to create one for you do you want us to update one um, what do you want to do so as we saw with the h2 database by default the auto configuration out of the box gives us hey we're going to create and drop this every time because it's an in-memory database so that makes sense for everything else the default is none and the reason is if you were to connect to an existing database that had a bunch of data in there already, Spring doesn't want to start just deleting everything, right? So the default for everything else is none. In this case, I want to say create drop because I don't have a schema on that side. So I'm creating and dropping. Once the schema is created and you just wanted to not have to uh, create and drop it every time you could change this to update and so these are the valid values uh, above that setting there okay so with all of that in place we should be able to run our application so let's go ahead and restart and let's jump in the console here and see what's going on all right so hibernate is coming up and this may take a second. It's actually loading that JDBC driver. Uh, actually, no, you know what's going on is it's connecting to a outside database, right? So that is going to take a little bit longer. And there it comes up. And before when it starts, I'm going to scroll back up here. I just want to look at this. So one of the things you'll see here is we can tell that it's picked up our dialect here. It's using the SQL Server um, driver. Um, then it actually exported the schema out. So you can see the Hibernate login in here. Um, it actually altered. It's going through and uh, dropping and altering tables. Cannot drop. OK, so this is because I already had this in there before. No big deal. So at this point, we should have an application up and running. And in our case, our application is at local state 80. And there should be, this may throw an error because we don't have any posts in there, right? So I think we don't handle that error correctly. So right, um, we don't have a post. Let's go ahead and create a post. Okay, so I'm back over here in SQL Pro and I'm going to go ahead and load some data in here. Uh, we could have done this through some kind of SQL script or programmatically, but just to get this up and running, I'm gonna throw some SQL in here and we're, we're gonna load some data. So here I just have a teaser for our blog post. If you were with us in the last demo, we basically set like a one paragraph teaser and then three paragraphs for the body. I create two authors here and I create a, a, a bunch of blog posts with different authors assigned to them. So let's just go ahead and run this and the two select statements are going to run after it and we get our blog posts, we get our authors, so we should be good to go. Let's jump back into the browser and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and our home page should show us the latest blog post, which it does. So we have our title here, our posted on um, date time we have our teaser which is not our full blog post it's just a teaser and then we have a link to the full blog post if we go into list we will see all of our blog posts and then we can even click on the read more to jump in the full blog post so that's it um, just wanted to kind of go over <laughs> You know how to connect to other databases in this case we used a Microsoft SQL Server uh, database hosted on Azure so that was pretty cool um, obviously there's a wide variety of databases that you can connect to and I hope that helps um, let's move on to the next one